Great. Well, I'm I'm with the uh, Woking, the second goal scorer, and your third goal of the season as well, Charlie. Well, well done tonight. What an atmosphere, eh? What a game. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was certainly a game of two halves. Definitely a game where the uh, all the fans here. I think there was two and a half thousand ish here. So uh, we needed each and every one of them today. So uh, yeah, props to them and fair play. It's it's been noticeable in the last two weeks with the fans that it's sort of a you know it's been a tough season at home here and and you know fans a bit but once they get going they really get going don't they Oh yeah I mean you heard the noise especially when the first goal went in when they uh, when they all realised that we have a fighting chance of of winning this game and then when the second goal went in uh, you just heard the the uproar from especially from this end because we scored that end uh, but you hear it from every corner of the of the of the ground so yeah it plays a massive part. It's great that fans can go home happy second week in a row with a, a comeback like that. Personally, though, I mean, you lost Lewis as your partner. What did, what effect did that have on your, your game? It made a big difference because the way me and Lou play together is like we have we have good chemistry, so we work off each other very well. So seeing him come off the pitch early doors killed us a little bit, but um, <clears throat> it just meant that I had to do a little bit more of his role as well as what I do best as well, so um, which I don't mind doing. I don't mind having uh, having jobs to do, so uh, it keeps me busy. Um, but yeah, it was definitely it was definitely harder than having him on there. And then, as you say, game of, game of two halves, and you could feel the pressure building throughout throughout the second half. The goal went in, and then it was the pressure building again, and thinking, oh, will it? Won't it? Surely it can't happen again. And then another penalty again. So, talk us through the penalty. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's in the back of the net at the end of the day. So, uh, <laughs> now, for me as a as a striker, I, I've got to put myself uh, in contention for the for every penalty. So um, I just put put the ball on the spot, hit the target, and if it goes in, it goes in. If I if I if the keeper saves it, then I've got to be on the rebound. Um, but nothing will stop me from wanting the penalty or taking the penalty. So no, and to be fair, it was a it was a good save initially, wasn't it? And then and then. Props to you for just being on the ball to get there first. I mean, well, we couldn't see it from where we were. Was it just a jumble of players, or were you? Um, I think, to be fair, what happened so quick? The ball's just gone in the air, and I've just been the first to react, uh, just to nod it in. Really, I, I mean, you, can, you can't miss that. So, uh, but there was there was a lot of players. Some, around I me. could. <laughs> <laughs> no, but well done, well done, and you know, well done on on your start here at Woking. You enjoying it? Overall, oh yeah, I'm loving it. I mean, the gaffer and all the staff. I've just been speaking over there with the, the BBC guys. Um, them guys have ha- had a massive impact on us as a as a team. Like each and every one of us is like so much fitter, so much sharper physically and mentally. So having them on the sideline, just kind of shouting at us all the time, just keeps us keeps us on our toes. And and like we know when we're doing something good, we know when we're doing something bad. So uh, yeah, it's good. And what's been really heartening to see is that well. It'd be nice if it didn't happen once, but we've been coming back. We've gone behind and, and we've actually found a way to fight our way back into games, which is just uh, really refreshing after some of the early parts of the season. But that, that that takes a lot of spirit, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. Like In every interview that I do, I'll, I'll always back the boys and I'll say that we've all, all, each and every single one of us have got a fighting mentality. We're all, we're all just buzzing to play for the football club and we all, we all want to win games. So um, games like today, it's not the prettiest, but... Like I say, all of us fight, all of us want to be here, all of us want to play. So we'll do anything till the 100th minute if we have to, to win the game. Well, really well done tonight. More big games to come. I'm sure there'll be a, more, a lot more twists and turns. But for tonight, it's just uh, well done. Great occasion here. Another win, another game unbeaten, but another win at home. So that's five unbeaten here at home in, in the last five games. Here. So it's... Uh, it's really well done to you and the boys and travel well up to Altrincham and Rochdale. Thanks, Thanks for your time, much, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers.